Hey, what's up everyone? This is Minnesota Mike back with you for another video. This is another one in my vlog series that I do through the Memphis Songwriters Association in conjunction with the blog that I write for them talking all about songwriting and what has worked for various artists over the course of a handful of years whether those songs have been hits or not. So this latest kick that I'm on is called That Title Doesn't Mean What You Think It Means. And this is all about songs that have multiple meanings even within uh, the lyrics of the song, clever wordplay, all of that good stuff. We thus far this week have looked at uh, Get Him Back by Olivia Rodrigo, and now we're going to talk about Worried About the Weather by Justin Towns Earl. This is the first song off of Justin Towns Earl's album, Single Mothers, and it does two things to provide the listener with a twist and double meaning within the song. When I hear the phrase worried about the weather, I think of the weather outside. Obviously, in writing, you can piece together the implication, but when you're listening, you get the pun of him adding, whether you'll love me. But then he begins to compare the relationship in question to stormy weather, such as the wind picking up and pressures coming on, and referring to the couple as two fools in the rain, but then shifts back to the original twist by saying they're just two strangers at the bus stop talking about the weather. Melodically, the song is written in the key of E, uh, that's E major. The chorus uses E, B, A major 7, B, and E, while the verses use the same chords. This is a 1-5-7-5 five, five pattern. The first solo uses C sharp minor and B, which is the 6 chord and the 5 chord, while the second solo uses E, B, A major 7, slash E, B, E, B, a major 7 slash E, E, and B. That's going to be a 1, 5, 4, seven, 4 major 7, I'm sorry, uh, pattern uh, followed by a 5, 1, 5, 4 major 7, and uh, the 1 and the 5. Uh, the bridge uses A major 7 slash E and B played twice, which is a 4 major 7, and a 5, and that's followed by E, B, A major 7 slash E and B, which is a 1, 5, 4 major 7 and 5 pattern. If you notice, each part of the song ends on the 5 chord, which not only makes for a very good flow, but it also causes tension for us as the listener. He does the same thing in Memphis in the Rain, and uh, a lot of musicians have done that uh, throughout the course of music, but Obviously, we're talking about Justin Towns Earl here, uh, so giving him his props there for using that structure. He always knew what worked for uh, his songs. Structurally, the song uses a chorus, verse, chorus, solo, verse, solo, bridge, chorus format. Justin used a similar structure in Harlem River Blues, except there are two solos and worried about the weather rather than just one. The structure of this particular song, going back and forth between the weather, W-E-A-T-H-E-R, and the weather, W-H-E-T-H-E-R, are in two separate thoughts, and the natural flow of the song just works so well. Just as a closing note, uh, there's something about the flow of his songs that sounds so unique, even though, like I said, a lot of artists have done uh, that with the chord patterns and all of that throughout music history. Uh, and although he wasn't who I had in mind when I uh, decided on focusing on the lyrics, melody, and structure, uh, he was very consistent with this particular structure and, uh, you know, worked the chords in there as well. And the way that uh, he sings the notes affects the chords that he plays, and uh, these things affect the order in which he sings them, the structure. Uh, when Justin passed, I was devastated, and I still am, uh, because his lyrics, dark as they could be, uh, helped me feel less alone, but he could also craft a melody like no other. And uh, one thing that uh, Jen Marie Earl has said, uh, you know, she said it in... Uh, the book that came out in his most recent compilation, the photo album, is that he was always very meticulous about everything that he did when he wrote. He was very intentional uh, about everything. And uh, that is exactly what I want you guys to be like as writers is, you know, I'm not just throwing this in there because it works. I know exactly why I'm throwing it in there. Um, and Justin was just fabulous with that. And I, 
like I said, I miss him every day, uh, but thank him for uh, his tremendous work. So uh, worried about the weather is embedded below, as is Memphis in the rain, uh, so you can see what he does uh, with those chords to build that tension. Uh, just a coincidence that both songs happen to be about the weather. Uh, but I'm Minnesota Mike. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, make sure you check out all my other vlogs on YouTube, as well as all my other blogs on the Memphis Songwriters Association website. Thank you so much.